You guys fans of The Bear, the show on Hulu? Well, <laughs> the trailer dropped. I don't know if it's, I haven't watched it yet, so I don't know if it's in the first episode or what. But there's a scene where the cousin or the brother or somebody is wearing an original beef t-shirt, but it actually says original birth. It's a misprint. Your shirt says original birth. Yeah, it's a printing mistake. Collector's item. Fans, of course, or in opportunists or, you know, entrepreneurial types have decided, oh, let's, uh, let's make some original birth shirts and sell them. And so they have. So they're all over the internet. Uh, Etsy, Teespring, Redbubble. Uh, you know, it's pretty, I don't know. It's not like nobody's being creative. They just, they saw an opportunity. They're knocking it off. If you go to the actual bear merch thing on, on the Hulu website or the FX networks website, it's not Hulu. It's FX. Actually, you watch it on Hulu. That's weird. They've got a bear shirt, but they don't have, they don't have the birth one. I mean, they should, you know, if it was me, I think I would take advantage of that. I mean, this is other stuff from the thing. Like you can get a, a poster or you can get an apron, you get a mug, but you know, man, they should get a, they should get birth shirts. They should get their own original birth t-shirts. And I don't know. I think it's cool. And it's, it's funny and it's a funny gag because I've misprinted stuff before. I've never actually delivered misprinted stuff, but because the customer would have, they would have said, Hey, that's wrong. Takeaway here is way to embrace your fans. And when they start making fan art, just let them do it. Don't lawyer up, you know, let people take advantage of it. Let people spread the love. If you know, you know, kind of thing, right? If you see somebody in original birth Chicago t-shirt, you're going to know exactly where that, where that's from.